In the course, we try to develop simple physical models to derive the tire road contact forces. However, experimental evidence showed that our models were missing something. Tire is a complex system. Modeling is complex as well. Different modeling approaches can be adapted, from pure empirical to pure theoretical. Pure empirical methods require a large amount of data to fit some analytical expressions. Pure theoretical, on the contrary, requires a deep insight on the physics of all the components of the tire. Brush model, analyzed in previous lectures, is a simple theoretical model that allows to understand the physical mechanism of the tire forces generation. But being based on simple assumptions, it cannot reproduce exactly what is found from experimental evidence. In this video, we will see an alternative approach that is widely spread in literature and in automotive industry, which is based on similarity method. This type of approach gained interest because it allows to correctly reproduce many effects of tire contact forces, being at the same time very computationally efficient compared to the complex physical models. It is known as magic formula tire model. It has been developed in the 80s by Professor Hans Paseika from Technical University of Delft. Here we can see also his book, Tire and Vehicle Dynamics, from which the model is derived and explained. It is a similarity method that allows to determine the tire forces measured at the wheel hub according to the wheel hub kinematics. The MF tire model takes several input quantities, variable according to the evolution of the model, and produces the tire forces and moments. The model uses parameters that are obtained by fitting several experimental data. Both pure and combined slip condition are reproduced. Tire is a black box. To correctly tune the model, a precise workflow must be followed. First, tire is tested on a dedicated machines, then it is fitted to obtain the MF parameters. Finally, the model is used, coupled with vehicle model, to simulate the vehicle dynamics. The basic expression of the magic formula is here reported. Capital X is the input, longitudinal or lateral slip. Capital Y is the output, longitudinal or lateral force. Capital Y is a scaled sinusoidal function of an inverse tangent function of capital X. B, C, D, and E are factors that modify the shape of the curve. SH and SV are shift factors that shift the curve horizontally and vertically. In particular, D is the peak factor. It represents the maximum value of Y, which is roughly equal to mu FZ. C is the shape factor. It modifies the asymptotic value of the curve. It tests the drop of the force when the slip grows. B is the stiffness factor. Together with C and D, it defines the slope of the y versus x curve in the origin, when x goes to zero. E is the curvature factor. It defines the horizontal position of the peak, thus x max. In this slide, we can see graphically how the y-x curve is modified when changing b, c, d, and e coefficients one at a time. The model is farther more complex than the basic equation previously introduced. As an example, the coordinating stiffness, which defines the value of parameter b, is not constant, but it is a function of the normal load, as obtained from experiments. Also, the peak factor d is not constant, but it depends on the normal load according to the polynomial expression here reported. Shift factors are used to offset the curves horizontally and vertically. These shifts are present in the tire and can be due to several phenomena. For example, place steer, conicity, camber, and running resistance are all resulting in shifting the curve. Considering all these dependencies and influence factor, the full set of equation of MF tar model is something similar to the equations reported in this image. In yellow are highlighted some of the coefficients obtained from the fitting procedure. The coefficients are normally stored in a text file. 
The extension is a .tir, which has a price structure. You can see here an extract of a complete file written in ASCII format. In addition to the coefficients, scanning factors are used to allow the user to simulate different conditions. For example, to simulate the coefficient of a mu jump, the lambda mu scaling coefficient can be used. This produces a change in the y-x curve so to resemble what would happen in a real situation. Furthermore, they can be used to scale the forces when changing the runaway characteristics, as an example to scale the curves obtained in an indoor test to the ones obtained in an outdoor test. The model is not unique. It evolved in the time to further reproduce the experimental curve by introducing additional parameters, like the inflation pressure, the turn and slip effect, and the temperature. Increasing the number of input parameters requires to increase the number of coefficients which must be included in the model. This also increases the number of the required experimental test. Right now, the most updated version of MF tire model, which was merged with the transient model, the Swift tire, requires more than 200 parameters. We can see here the fitting procedure. Once the experimental data are available, a minimization procedure is run. It consists in minimizing the root mean square error by changing the model parameters. On the graph, the experimental curve, the first guess, and the final fit to the curve are reported. To sum up, this video presented the MF tire model. It is based on the similarity approach. It is an empirical model fitting experimental data. It applies to both pure and combined sleep conditions, steady state and transient. It accounts for most important quantities of interest for vehicle dynamics, including the operating parameters like pressure and temperature. It requires a number of dedicated experimental tests to identify the model parameters. It is fast and reliable, but not predictive when changing tire or road.